I've said all I Whoa. need to for now. Servants or I don't have time for a monologue. Give me the bullet points of what you saw. I just helped your ass. And the Ankaran sarcophagus. What did you see? There was blood everywhere. I guess. Handprints indicate it was open from within. I guess we got that from the monitor. Opened? Let's not open from jump within to conclusions. Is the key. Give me the manifest in your notes. I'll sort this mess later. You might have noticed when you came in... The parade of malingering mollycoddles filing out. Yeah, who are they? Those were the Primogen, this city's clan elders. Oh. A worrisome bunch devoted first and foremost to the security of their own skin, which is why they were here. It seems Alistair Grout, the Malkavian Primogen, has either forgotten how to answer his phone or is missing. Uh -huh. The Sabbat's appearance has put the Primogen on edge. Grout's mansion is in the Hollywood Hills. I need you to pry Grout out of whatever crack he's crawled into and have him contact us. Okay. Like, why, though, like... <laughs> listen, Ventru, and listen well. I need someone I can depend on. Someone who, if they serve me well, will go very far. Do as I ask, and you will know my appreciation. Refuse me, and you will never rise above the rank of foot soldier. Understood? But, like, what's in it for me, exactly? I'm doing everything, and you're not really... My thanks. No. And that goes a long way in great. this city. That's great. Yes. Uh, about Grout. As I said, Grout is the Malkavian primogen. His behavior and home are eccentric, to say the least. He's developed a paranoid bent lately, so you may have to check under every bed in the place for him. Awesome. Uh, let me ask you a few questions. I suppose I can spare a few seconds. Mm, let's see. Yes. The primogen. They are the representatives of their clans. Though more often than not, they represent their own best interests. They stay close to power, but they lack the backbone to lead. Be thankful you don't have to deal with them. At least for now. Okay. Which is... All right. I'm ready to go see Grout. When we hear from Grout... You may come back. Until then. Oh, and to show my appreciation for your dedicated service to me, I have secured you a haven nearby. Ooh. In the Skyline Apartment Building. I hope it's to your liking. Key this guy. Unit 4. All right, cool. Tell my ghoul to go there as well. Okay, perfect, because we just sent him to the other place, so hopefully he's got, like... Hopefully she's checking my emails, basically, is what I'm saying. We'll see if she's showing up. To the deluxe apartments in the sky. Where are they again? <laughs> uh, five is confession. Yeah, it's right around the corner. Oops. There's also, where is that one place that I thought had, like, that purple sun that I wanted to check out? Or it was like a purple circle, which is a totally, like, Hail Mary pass of it solving that riddle, but... I don't mind taking the chance. Unit 4. Hopefully I've got a computer in there. Hello, there she is. Nice to see you. What is this? Occult power-up? What the hell? Hmm, when you gaze upon this object, the skin... Skies darken and lightning flashes. Those aren't good clues as to what this is, though. Okay. Let's see. Aha. 
let's check the old email. Uh, what is it? Sunrise? Yeah. Wow, can't believe I remember that. Nicely done from LaCroix. Your assistance was much appreciated in regards to the werewolf blood. Please find your payment in the mailbox if you haven't already done so, which we have, so delete. Don't touch the butter. From silly little puppy. <laughs> Don't touch the butter. The new extreme sport that's sweeping the nation is now on a limited edition DVD. Watch the superstars Iron Will, McMahon, Brock, Dry Hands, Hines, and Margarine Mike Davenport as they use every bit of the of restraint in their body to not touch the butter. One bowl of butter, two contestants, three judges, and a hell of a lot of willpower. To order, go to don'ttouchthebutter.vtm. Wow. Okay. So we've got a little thank you note. We've got a pretty sick pad. Did you miss me? Oh, yeah. Did you buy the way the board? Okay, Heather. I'm so glad you're back. I've been waiting here just like you asked. Your place is, um, nice. Thanks. I didn't really do much to it. Is there something I can do for you? Anything. Just ask. There's something you should know before we get too close here. Oh. Are you married? Is that why you don't want me around? No. You survived because... I'm a vampire? What? Uh, you're joking, right? That's like slang for something like catcher or some fetish term, right? No. Not like a blah, blah, vampire. <laughs> yeah, it's like the blah, right? blah thing. Um, a term for you is cool. No. No, there's no such thing. You're... This isn't funny anymore. Don't worry, like, it's cool. You will. I do love you so much. Whatever you are. I don't care. All I right. just want to be with you. At least my conscience is clear. Uh, just know that I adore you. I shared my blood with you, dear Heather. What can I do to show my appreciation? <laughs> uh, okay, so I could feed on her. I could get money, maybe. Uh, let's just learn about her a bit. Me? I'm not so special, you know. I go to college. I'm majoring in fashion design. I think I'm pretty creative. I just started school a year late because my... Oh, my parents damn. died. Um, car crash. I didn't really have anyone special in my life until you came along. Well, I'm here for you now. <laughs> okay, well, good luck in the next What's your appearance? change it okay when i get back <laughs> I, I hope i'm in for a pleasant surprise <laughs> jesus anything i can do for you do you have any money um here here that's all i've got oh, i feel bad about this that's not my margarine that's butter that'll do all right well oh i've got a blood pack in here Oh, I got a whole bunch of them. Are you kidding me? That's awesome. Oh, look at this aquarium. Are you kidding? This is so sick. Anything I can do for you? Let me see if I can feed on her a little bit. Shotgun shells. Thank you. Okay, so, couple things. Uh, we're burned to the mystical sun. Prince wishes to contact Alistair Grout, the Malkavian Primogen. You should try to look for him at his mansion on the outskirts of town. Go to speak with Paul. Yeah, well, that's... I don't know what's going on with that one. I'm going to try to find the... The place with the sun. That purple thing. It's gotta be... I don't know, maybe I'm stretching, but I think that would kind of make sense. It even says, like, what is it? Um, mystical... Burns the mystical sun. It looked like it was kind of like... I guess you could say it was burning. Now... 
it was pretty close to where we started, I think. Because we, I found it early after we got out of the taxi cab originally. here. Come on now. And who wrote this to us? This is like uh, the Trimmer Regent has invited you his home in down. Yeah, it's downtown. Uh, Mystical Sun. Let's see if he's... Let's do this. Thaumaturgical Creatures by Bankins Regent, Chicago. Gargoyles. During the medieval conflict with the Zemis, Clan Tremere dealt further into secret, gar or secret blood magics and created a race of protectors known as Gargoyles. Since their inception, Gargoyles have been used as scouts, warriors, and sentries. Gargoyles are monsters, vampires by virtue of the blood and flesh uh, through which they are created. They are no more than the detritus of other clans given a second chance to serve their Tremier creators. Unfortunately, many have wrongly come into view their service as slavery and have fled their masters in search of some delusional utopia. Many escaped gargoyles live in isolation, preferring solitude to even the company of their own kind. Homunculi. For the most menial and mindless tasks, many Tremere create what is called a homunculus. Uh, they are mindless creatures which take many forms, winged, many-legged, and otherwise. Homunculi are unfailingly loyal, but their appearance makes them a serious threat to breaking the masquerade. Okay. Oh, we've got a friggin' maze here. And this is like... Oh, hello? Uh, you're the guy that we saw walking out of LaCroix's place, aren't you? Greetings, Neonate. Might I assume you received my invitation? No way. I have been looking yeah, forward okay, to sweet. meeting you for quite some this time. This has got to be him. Yeah, I got it. Strauss. Yep. Maximilian Strauss. I am the regent of this chantry. Welcome. Um, what's a chantry exactly? A chantry is a local gathering place for those of the Tremere clan. I live here as do apprentices from time to time. Okay, in your regent? A regent is the leader of a chantry, as well as a teacher to young Tremere apprentices who are studying the mysteries of our clan. Okay, what can you tell me about these mysteries exactly? I'm sorry, Neonate. The secrets of the Tremere clan are hidden from all but those who share our blood. You would do best not to look into them any further. Hmm. Okay. What can you tell me, though? Like, you called me here. Let me give you some advice, young one. Your survival in kindred society will often depend on your ability to find out yourself what is going on around you. Remember that well. Okay. As for what is going on here in downtown... The word on everyone's lips, kindred or kind, seems to be epidemic. Yeah, so what's happening? It seems that disease has been spreading at an alarming rate throughout the downtown population. I've Considering <laughs> our particular appetites, the local kindred are more than concerned about these developments. Okay. Yes, indeed. My opinion is that the local anarchs are responsible for these outbreaks. That's not Their exactly true. Their indulgence of certain passions often leads to such things. Ergo, their need for the watchful eye of the Camarilla. Hmm, I've already looked into that, actually. I see. Most disappointing, Neonate. 
You seem to show a startling lack of concern when choosing your associates in this new life. I oh. pray that their lawless proclivities do not ultimately affect your own standing among your other peers. Um, I'll take that under advisement, but I do have a what few What is more it questions. you would like to know? Tell me about your Camarilla. The Camarilla? It is merely a kindred sect that exists to protect its members from the outside world. There are specific codes of behavior that we abide by in order to ensure the continuance of our species. It is nothing more and nothing less. Okay. Can you tell me anything else about them, or...? Surely. What else would you like to know? Are all vampires part of the Camarilla? I think they are, but... No. Oh. There are many independent clans who are not aligned oh, with the Camarilla. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. And the Sabbat is another sect of various vampire clans whose beliefs are very different than our own. Unsavory sorts, to say the least. I understand you have already run afoul of them. Yeah, uh, I do have to thank Nines. Ah, yes. The infamous Mr. Rodriguez. I understand you owe him your life twice now. Had he not intervened, the prince would have surely had that hound of his separate your head from your shoulders. <laughs> Sounds like you're keeping tabs on me. In any case, it's a shame that Rodriguez cannot see the wisdom of the Camarilla. He would make a powerful ally. As it is, he is a significant thorn in the Croix's side, which serves my purposes oh, just the same. Really? Someone's a little scornful of the prince. LaCroix is a prince, neonate, and a Ventru on top of that. Even if he weren't as young and indiscriminate as he's already proven himself to be, I... But I say too much. Let us just say that he and I have differing ideas on the use of power. Hmm. Like, you can trust me, though. I have overstepped my bounds. I will say no more. Oh, great. Surely. What else would you like to know? Uh, why aren't the Anarchs in the Camarilla? The Anarchs feel that they don't need the structure and discipline of the Camarilla. I feel that they pose a threat, both to those loyal to the Camarilla and to themselves. Most are mere children and need our guidance. That's an interesting observation. Um... Surely... LaCroix is a prince, neonate. I think your words betray a disloyalty to LaCroix a bit. I'm sorry you think so. <laughs> Let me hear a little bit more. A wise choice, neonate. It is always better to listen and learn than to act with brazen recklessness. Because I am Perhaps not into the prince either, so... useful ally after all. Um. What is it you would like questions? to know? I think we're good. Oh, the sarcophagus. Here we go. No more than yourself. But I do know that LaCroix is much too focused on acquiring it. His obvious need for it reveals a weakness that his enemies may one day exploit. What do you think is inside of it exactly? I do not know. Although I must admit that I sense a change in the night air, something subtle and not altogether pleasant. Perhaps the arrival of the sarcophagus is the harbinger of something more dreadful. Could the sarcophagus have started this disease spreading, maybe? I will say no more. God damn it. All right, well, we've met with him. The only thing left to do is... Find Alistair Grout. Look for him in his mansion in the outskirts of town. Is this just... Wow. Okay. Whoa. What the shit's going on? There we go. This is like, I don't... It's like... His house is like, shape-shifting or something. 
it changes. That is really creepy. Hmm. Let's get the hell out of here. That is weird. 